Hello friends, this is Prashant here. So today I'll be telling you about uh, longest increasing subsequence coding in C program that is C++ using dynamic programming. So what you see in front is actually the recursion method of the uh, LIS programming. So uh, this is a uh, program here. So what I do is first input an array and then uh, calculate the size of an array and pass it in the function so here's a function reference val reference val passes these max one into second function so this uh, address of max is passed into second function so this function uses max is equal to one as a reference so if input of array is one then it returns one and Secondly, it uh, uh, passes n max, which is in for a loop updated every time we see increasing numbers. That is increasing subsequence in a array of numbers. So uh, this uh, for loop starts here, and uh, then the function is passed. That is recursion is called. So function is called, and this is then. If uh, once the calling for function stops, this if a statement passes and end max is updated. So this keeps on updating. If there is increase in the subsequence of the array periodically, and if there is not, then it won't be counted. So finally, the reference is updated and end max is returned, and we print the max and max return from that function in this function in the int main so this is actually the recursion method of uh, typing the c++ program of uh, longest increase subsequence but how do we code it in the tiny programming method so let me start with hash include Using name space std. First of all, I'll make an input array. So I declare an array a and a. I take it as thirty, and then. So I better use initialize at the time of declaring. So done this way. Then comma twenty two. Then nine. Then thirty three. Then twenty one. Then fifty. Then forty one. Then sixty. And then I. Uh, Calculate the size of the array. I like declare int n. I'll calculate the size of n. I use size of Then I pass this array into a function. So I must be getting some length, definitely, which will be finally printed. So this length is equal to let the let us uh, name the function as LIS. So LIS is array comma n. Then we finally print the array. Return 
now let us start with the function so how this function will be made in dynamic programming so we'll name the function as lis int lis so since we are passing here array and the size of array so we'll do here two here we come as l int a comma int n after this we'll declare an array and we'll be we'll be initializing every element of that array is equal to 1 because that is how the uh, this time programming for this uh, um, algorithm works so it could be also initialized in zero form but uh, as you might be seeing then many, many uh, tutorials and books and videos that they actually initialize every element equal to 1 so uh, we'll do the same here too for After this, we'll start the loop. The algorithm int i is equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus, or in j is equal to i should be kept one because my algorithm works this way that i will be the next element to the first or the previous. So it keeps on changing the position of the loop. So go inside the loop, I will be taking j is equal to zero. J is less than i, and j plus plus. So uh, the if function, this is actually an if function, which is same as the function same as the function uh, or say the statement used in the recursion as well so here we put ai if ai is greater than a j okay so if the next element is greater than the previous element okay and a that is l we have put array as l L of i is less than L of j plus 1 then L of i is equal to L j plus 1 so what does this do is actually it updates the value of li that is updates the value of every initialized one in every uh, corresponding number of the array is equal to one and updates one two three four as per the condition that if the previous number are increasing okay in increasing order then the uh, this uh, one uh, num one value of the array gets updated if the uh, number is not update previously then it won't so as per the uh, condition uh, let's check if uh, 2 is uh, uh, if uh, i is equal to 1 is uh, run then uh, 22 is greater than 10 yes so li 1 is equal to would be 2 okay, updated to 2 and if l i is equal to 2 is put uh, that is 9 then it won't be updated because 10 won't be uh, less than 9 or 22 won't be less than 9 so the value of 9 would be same as before that is 1 but in case 33 10 is less than 33 yes 22 is less than 33 yes 
and 9 is uh, less than uh, 33 yes but the second condition won't be satisfied because it wasn't updated before that is l of 2 li of 2 so it won't get updated here as well so value of 33 will be 4 that is li of uh, 33 would be 4 here it would be updated and in uh, case of it, it won't be get updated due to this but because of these two numbers so we end the loop here and then let us in declare a max max is equal to l of 0 for to calculate max i is equal to 1 we'll start the second element i is less than 10 i plus plus if max is greater than max is less than l of i then max is i return l of i sorry return max i think i have on correct with the program let's run it this is test yeah that is coming out of correct totally so the lis is 5 that is 1 2 3 4 5 yes let's check with one more number that is 60 after 8 and it should come out of the 6 float p does yo so i guess this total was helpful for you have a nice day